She turned blood red in World War II. She hung limp and low a time or two. She was in Korea, Vietnam. She went where she was sent by her Uncle Sam. She waved from our ships upon the briny foam, and now they were about quickly back here at home. In her own good land, here she's been abused. She's been burned, dishonored. Veterans of World War II, 
that I just had never really thought of in my life in Europe, to educate the veterans that returned back home. I had a good friend that passed away, Claude Gussie, who was an attorney and a judge down in Carleton. After his World War II service, he came back home and he took advantage of the GI Bill, returned to the University of Illinois to obtain his degree as an attorney. And that's just a great thing that was offered to our military when they returned home. As uh, many of you know, we have our 22nd flight next week uh, on the 18th. Also next week, uh, out at the airport, it will be the uh, sentimental B-17 sentimental journey. So if you have an opportunity to go out and see that and take a ride, uh, it'll be there from Monday noon until Friday at 10 o'clock. Uh, as of today, before our flight next week, we have 52 World War II veterans still on our list. We have 260 Korean veterans, and uh, now we have 173 Vietnam veterans on our waiting list. We have our flight next Tuesday, and then we'll have one September the 10th and October 22nd. And uh, our last flight, even though we didn't uh, realize it when we uh, set the schedule, it was our 21st flight on May 21st. So, <laughs> a little coincidence there. A lot of thanks to Bob for helping get this started. And when we first started, we had 77 veterans on our list from national. <laughs> we took a wild guess that the area that we covered, we would probably take six, seven. Turns out, if uh, we'll have 88 veterans on next week's flight, There'll be uh, 18 World War II and 70 Korean. And with those 88, we will hit 1,600 of the number of veterans that we have served. So, I'm glad to our flight. There's no better pay than to see all these veterans with a smile and get the welcome home that they deserve. So, thank you for all of your service. That's, that's the least we can do. We wish we could do more for you. So, if, if you guys ever need anything, please try and come and see us. We'll do what we can for you, okay? Again, thank you for your service. Thank you, Ryan, very much. We are, as some of you know, a member of the... I thank a soldier a marine thank the airmen sailors that I've never seen ensuring the freedoms we embrace every day they're standing strong for the US of A every day I hear reporters bring in me the news they can say and they can write Whatever words they choose And I know why this freedom of speech still survives Cause the bravest men and women pledge their lives And I thank a soldier Thank a marine Thank the airmen, sailors that I've never seen Ensuring the freedoms we embrace every day they're standing strong for the U.S. of A. I can choose my form of worship in America 
I'm free, but no member of the clergy provides this guarantee. A fair and speedy trial is my right, and yet I see that attorneys don't protect this liberty. So I thank a soldier, thank a marine. Ensuring the freedoms we embrace every day, they're standing strong for the U.S. of A.